Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Today, this is the gospel. Again, this place, which is the gospel to everybody. Praise the Lord. So, before I start to pray this gospel, I want to pray for everybody. This is a gospel message. People are going to hear. This gospel message. I pray for you. Thank you. You can put it on that. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to pray one time to everybody. Holy Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for everybody. Those are walking here. The people are here this morning. I pray for you. When the time I share this word of God, Father God, thank you. For your touching, the people, those who are walking here, as well as people, those who are here in this world. I can pray for you. Can you pray? Heavenly Father, I pray for the revival of this place. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. It's a wonderful day. One more day. Preach the gospel in the city. Thank you, Lord. So, everybody, keep on walking here. Gospel message is written in this Bible by God Himself. Today, I want to preach the book of Galatians, chapter 3. Praise the Lord. The law brings a curse. This is what today I want to preach to each and every people.
Aleluya. Gloria a Dios. Muchas gracias. Chapter 3. Verse 10. Muchas gracias.
So people are walking here. The birth of Jesus Christ. The reason why Jesus Christ born in this world. For what purpose Jesus Christ came to this world? That means to destroy all the work of the law which is in you that our God wanted to destroy at the cross for you and me. Book of Galatians chapter 3 where the term Bible says for as many as are of the work works of the law are under the curse for it is written cursed is everyone who does not Continue in all things which are written in the book of the law to do them. But that no one is justified by the law in the sight of God is ever. For the just shall live by faith. Yet the law is not of faith but the man who does them shall live by them book of Galatians chapter 3 verse 13 Bible says Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law having become a curse from us for it is written curse is everyone who hangs and free. That the blessing of Abraham might come upon the Gentile in Christ Jesus. That we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Brethren, I go to the Bible. If anyone wants to receive the salvation, We cannot put any of our effort by our own hand. Salvation is a free gift. Which our God is giving. According to His promise. To each one of you. Those who are Believing in Him. Brother, you want to go? You want to go? Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, can get eternal life. Oh, great. Brother, anyone need salvation? Oh. So all the people are working here. So today, I want to say to each and every people, all the people are working here. Jesus Christ is a way, is a life, 
and is the truth. Bible says, Book of Galatians, chapter 3, verse 13, Bible says, The Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, having become a curse for us. I do not. The reason why Jesus Christ died at the cross for you and me. The reason is the people, those who are under the law of Moses, it was not sufficient for the people to come and receive the eternal glory in heaven. After the birth and death and resurrection of Jesus Christ, Bible is saying, our God is giving an opportunity The Lord. Our God is giving an opportunity by the blood of Jesus Christ to each and every people to come out from the curse of the law. I go to the Bible. All the people are getting salvation only through Jesus Christ. Only one name under the heaven and earth. All the people are getting salvation by only through Jesus Christ. So all the people are walking here. This is a good news. I want to share to each and every people the good news is the people those who are in Christ Jesus Bible saying you are the new creation all the people are created as a new person my spirit in Christ. The day, the time, the moment when you believe that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. Praise the Lord. That is what today, according to the Bible, I want to declare to each and every people born again and taking water baptism is, is a commandment of the law. It is not going in another religion and doing something in your life. But I go to the Bible, look up Mark, chapter 16, Bible is giving a direction to each and every people. Anyone want to get into the life? Anyone want to come out the curse of the law? You have to walk again and take full water baptism. Praise the Lord. The reason why Jesus Christ said everybody should get dead born again and take water baptism that is book of Galatians chapter 3 verse 14 Bible saying that the blessings of Abraham might come about the Gentiles
my brother. Thank you for hearing well of the Rafi. Faith is coming by hearing this Rafi. And faith is this transfer to everybody. Those who are working here. I'll be here one hour time more. The sick people are here. You are most welcome. You can come forward. I can pray for you. Praise the Lord. When I pray, when the time of preaching is closer, he leaves it this way. Jesus Christ has healed many people. The person who was having more difficulties, our God has healed. The person, the woman, she was sitting in the wheelchair. She could be able to walk because Jesus Christ has healed her. This gospel is a true gospel. This gospel is the power of the Lord. Who believe this gospel? Bible saying, you are in the families of the Lord. That is what must be done. Chapter 5. What is what Bible saying? The people, those who are believing in Jesus Christ, in your life, Bible saying, you are from above. Above that means, book of Ephesians, chapter 2, Bible saying, the people, those who are born again, you are the family members of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Today I am preaching the gospel to each and every people. This gospel can able to lift you up to the heaven from the earth. Praise the Lord. This gospel is a miracle gospel. Praise the Lord. I am not preaching any other religion. I am preaching the gospel. This gospel can get each other right to each and every bit. I am preaching this gospel. This gospel can change your life. I am preaching this gospel. This gospel can heal your sickness. Praise the Lord. I know lots of people are here this wonderful gospel right here today. Physically here, as well as in online. Wherever this gospel message is reaching. Come on, come on. Come on. I want to say one thing to all of you. This gospel can able to change your life. And heal your sickness and make you great in the nation. Because this Bible is written by the power of the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, why Jesus Christ said the people want to take the water baptism and born again? The first thing, if anyone want to receive the blessing from Jesus Christ, come on. You have to come out from your sinful life to the glorious life of God. How it is possible? It is possible through Jesus Christ, by the blood of Jesus Christ. And make access possible to the God in the heaven.
Want to born again? You can come forward. Praise the Lord. Jesus Christ can get eternal life to each one of you. I am preaching the gospel. Receive the promise 
of the Spirit. Praise the Lord. In the Bible, Jesus Christ has given lots of promises. In the Old Testament, not only to Abraham, but to Jacob and David and to everyone. Our God wants to get each and every people, those who are living in this world, our God wants to get the promise which our God has already given to Abraham. If our God wants to get the promise to each one of you, the minimum commandment of the Lord. In another word, you have to be a holy person. In another word, you have to become a child of God. The day the time is the moment, when you become, when you become the children of God. So today, when you become the child of God, all the promises of the Lord, which our God has given to Abraham, no problem, we can call. Okay. Which our God has given to Abraham. This is all the promises which will come to you. I'm not dead. I'm preaching the powerful gospel. This gospel which is written in the Bible. Bible message cannot be changed. 2024 years before. All the books. I can pray. I can pray for you. Come on, I can pray for you. Two thousand twenty-four years before, this entire gospel is written. What Jesus Christ has said from his mouth to the world. Even today, each and every Bible words are still alive and doing the miracle in front of everybody. In somebody's life. The people, those who believe in Jesus Christ. Few years before, I born again and baptized. Now I am preaching this powerful gospel to everybody. Few years before, because of my gospel preaching, our God has touched many souls from the city. Not only from the city, but across the UK and all over the world through online too. The people, those who are broken hearted from the city, many people got saved and taken water baptism. Now all are a leading a joyful life and powerful life by the grace of God. By the Lord. So all the people are walking here. The gospel which I'm preaching in the city, it is not a story, but this gospel is a history which our God has ever heard the murder, the good news, here in this world, which is written in this Bible 2024 years before. You want? I am preaching the same gospel to each one of you. So all the people are walking here. Bible is giving one opportunity to each and every people. What is the opportunity? Bible is saying, as 
testimony has received that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. Our God has given a right, a power to become the children of God to each and every team. Everybody's right. I go to the Bible. I want to say one more good news to each and every people today. Those who are walking here. Jesus Christ said, Today is a day of your salvation. Not tomorrow. Not day after tomorrow. The day is the time of the moment. When is the time? There are two places are there. I got the Bible. One in heaven. One in hell. In heavenly places. The people, those who are born again, you can able to go to the heaven. This is what I got the Bible. I want to say to each and every people. So today, I will say to each and every people, I go to the Bible, after our death, there are two places are there, one in heaven, one in hell. In heavenly places, reign Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, are ruling in their heaven. In the hell, the satanic world, all the Satan, the demon spirit are there in the hell. The people, those who are not in Bible Bible saying, Book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 1, Bible saying, there is a condemnation. There is a condemnation. Those who are in Christ Jesus. By the Lord. That means, the people, those who are not born again, you will go to hell. So today, I got this Bible. I know a couple of, couple of people got saved. This is I want to give the thanks and praise to the Lord. Because a couple of people got saved. This is indeed for Jesus Christ. This entire United Kingdom shall be served by the blood of Jesus. Entire Europe shall be served by the blood of Jesus. Entire world, all the five continents shall be served by the blood of Jesus. Today, if you are facing any of the depression, any of the anxiety, any of the things which are whatever it is coming and get us your life. Bible says, Jesus Christ is dead. All in the Jesus Christ has taken all your iniquities and my iniquities at the cross and then at the cross for you and me. Only for one time. Thank you, Lord. Whatever and ever. Thank you, Lord. I want to declare the good news to everybody. Before I finish my gospel preaching, Jesus Christ loves each and every people. Jesus Christ is giving eternal life to each and every people. Jesus Christ can get a wonderful life, spiritual life in the heaven. Not only the spiritual life, the people, those who are born again, a beautiful physical life in this world too. Because our God is having the compassion on you. Our Jesus Christ is the merciful. 
Praise the Lord. So I want to pray. Each and every fifth. Those are walking here. Praise the Lord. One day, our God will touch you. The gospel which I have preached, it will not be preached. Definitely, I can hear the fruit. I can see the fruit. It is. Everybody, I'm going to finish my session. I'm going to preach. I'm going to pray one thing to everybody. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I was praying, I was preaching one more time to everybody. Father God, when the time of preaching here today, few people got saved. And you are sending your anointing and power in each and everything. Father God, I bless you. Thank you for your keeping them in your glory. Spiritually, you are blessing the people, those who heard the gospel. Heavenly Father, I declare a wonderful revival from the city to all over the United Kingdom and to all over the nations. Father God, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless everybody. Pray the gospel today to everybody. Jesus Christ is a living God. That's what I'm preaching the gospel to everybody. Praise the Lord. So may our God bless you more and more. In Jesus' name.